Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Yesterday I shared a tip video on my Wait What? series about washi tape. And well, you know how things go. As long as I had the washi tape out, I made a few cards. So isn't this a charming little card using the washi tape to make a Christmas tree? Now I am using the Sweet Season Specialty Washi Tape. This is found on page 24 in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And the copper and gold patterns right here are what I chose to make my Christmas tree out of. So then I thought, wow, I wonder what this would look like if I put my washi tape on colored cardstock. And that's when I came up with this card. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. I have some great tips that make it super, super easy. And then I'll show you the pretty insides with these too. Let's get started. I'm gonna bring in the layers for my card here. I have a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. That's for the inside layer. Then I have a front layer that is three and three quarters by five a gold glimmer layer that is five and a quarter by three and seven eighths, a scrap of gold glimmer paper, and then I've got several very tiny pieces of shaded spruce here. This first one is three and three eighths by five and a quarter. The second one is three and three eighths by three and a half. And then I've got a little piece for our Christmas tree trunk that is five-eighths by three-quarters. We're gonna do some stamping here first. Make sure that I have the right pieces. This is for the front of our card. I am using the Merry Christmas to All bundle. And we have these wonderful Merry Christmas Thinlet dies. And oh, they're so, so spectacular. I absolutely love them. And that's what I used on this first card here for that Mary out of the gold glimmer paper. I'm going to bring in shaded spruce and cherry cobbler ink pads. I've got a couple of the stamps from that Merry Christmas to All set. First one we're going to do on the front here is the Seasons Greetings from Our Home to Yours. We're just going to put that right down here in the bottom. And then for our inside layer, we are going to use this big beautiful greeting. I just love, love, love the font on here. It's so elegant and classy. Isn't that pretty? And then with our shaded spruce, I'm gonna come in and just add a little pop of green with these hollies. I'll put one right there. And how about one right up here? All right, we're done with our stamping. Now I'm gonna show you how I added the washi tape to my little strips of shaded spruce here. Here we go. I've got my silicone mat here, and I love this when you're dealing with any type of adhesives. It is your best friend. Then you can see all the twist ties on my washi tape. This was the video that I shared yesterday. It's a great way to eliminate the frustration of trying to find those ends for your washi tape. I'm going to start with the um, middle piece here and I'm just going to take my washi tape and put it in the middle of this layer and this is actually a pretty easy thing to do when you're standing up above. I see this one here looks like it got just a little bit crooked and our washi tape is pretty forgiving so you can actually pick it up and reapply it. And then I also love that you don't really need scissors for your washi tape. And then I'm gonna come in with the stars 
on the larger piece. And we're going to come back with the stripes for the smaller one. And I actually just lined those up side by side. Now if you need to, you can trim off the edge to make everything straight. Don't be afraid to get your scissors out and make things right in the world, right? But these ends I'm just going to fold over and that makes it super, super simple. This is our tree trunk. And these are going to be our Christmas tree branches. And you can do this with any color of um, cardstock underneath and you'll get a different look each time. Now each one of the layers in my Christmas tree, the striped pattern I did at two and a quarter. So I'm just gonna cut that. And then this other little piece is one and a quarter. This one I did at two and three quarters. So about right here. And then the next piece was at one and three quarters, about right here. And I just laid these out and measured them for you. I didn't measure this the first time that I made it, so I don't want you to think that this was all that picky because it really, really wasn't. All right, now we're ready to build our tree. If I can pick up my little branches here. I'm going to put my tree trunk in place first here. And I'll just set that right in the middle. And then I'm just gonna bring in my branches. This is a really sweet and easy way to make a Christmas card, I thought. And you know, once you pull something out, like I just pulled the washi tape out and went to town with it and I love when that happens. It's like every every time I sit down to stamp doesn't always go, you know, perfect by any means. You don't always get your creative mojo, but once I pulled out that washi tape, I'm like, oh, I wonder what I can make with this. And I just had so much fun. So this is just one idea. And I'd like to see this with different colors. Maybe I'll have some time to do that a little bit later. Now I decided that the top of my tree needed a star. And I pulled out my Twinkle Builder Punch. And, whoops, where'd my little, where'd my, here's my gold scrap. And I punched out that big star in there. Perfect. I'm just gonna add a little bit of liquid glue up here and set my star in place. And I think this was a pretty easy card to make. Okay, we're ready for assembly. I also have a matching treat holder to go with this. So I'm looking forward to showing that to you also. It's super easy and it kind of matches the card that I made. So that's always fun. And I thought, oh, it'll be a great idea for like Secret Santa or if you just want to give, like I always like to give gifts to like the bank tellers at the bank. And if you have a favorite clerk, um, I go to Walgreens a lot and pick up stuff. And the lady that works at the um, main cash register there, she is the sweetest lady ever. And so I always like to do little extra things for her. And she really appreciates that. Okay, here is our fun little card. Our inside is also beautiful, of course. Get that open and get this in here. And then I'm gonna show you my treat holder. There we go. Okay, 
This next project is shaded spruce and it is six and a half by four and three quarters. I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer because we need to do some scoring here. And I'm going to score at a half an inch on the long side here. And then again at two and an eighth. going to bring in some tear, tear and tape. You're going to need this to secure the bottom of the treat holder and then also the side. And you want to put your tear and tape closer to the outside edge. Well, let's just tear it. There we go. I love this stuff. It's so nice, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to fold on this middle score line. And give that a good burnish with my bone folder. And then I'm bringing in the trio punch. And I love this punch. I can actually punch through two layers of cardstock with the oval down here, which is perfect for feeding ribbon through. Okay, we've got a little bit of stamping to do on the treat holder. And I'm going to be using the Making Christmas Bright. I've got this circle here with the little stars in it that I thought would work perfectly to make a wreath. So I'll show you how I did that. Now, I started off by stamping this wreath using Shaded Spruce Ink. And I'm going to stamp it right here. And I thought, oh, that looks nice, but it's kind of a little less volume than I wanted. So then I just stamped it again, and I offset it just a touch to really make it a fun-looking wreath. Then I took a piece of our Cherry Cobbler Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper. This is also in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And I got out that sweet little bow die from the Alpine Sports set of thinlets. And that's the one that has the sled in it. If you guys caught that, where's my sled picture? Do you remember this that I made? Oh my gosh, this is still my favorite. So it has the sled and the snowflakes in there. And it's also got this cute little bow. So I die cut that, and that gives me this little cutie pie. And I'm going to take that and attach it right to the top of my wreath. And isn't that already just so sweet? I love this. And the other thing I wanted to do was add the word Christmas. So I'm going to bring in this Christmas. And because this is so delicate, I remembered to use my self-adhesive paper. You peel that off, and you're just going to measure whatever size you need for the die that you're going to cut. And in this case, I've got, um, I think this is five by one and a half. And this little edge down here is, well, we're not going to pull that off yet. I almost pulled that off. I'm going to run this through my big shot. I'll be right back. And here we go. This comes out really easy. I'm just going to poke out these little centers. There we go. And then these little holes are in here so you can poke this out and get a hold of it. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And here we go. I Now sometimes it's a little tricky to get this to separate, but I just take my fingernail. You can also use a pokey tool, but you just take your fingernail and put that in there. And now what we've created is a wonderful sticker. I want to kind of keep your fingers off of it for the most part. 
and I am just going to lay this down and then your entire word is stuck on there. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, last thing I wanted to do was put some stars on. So I'm gonna grab that Twinkle Builder Punch again and we're gonna punch out a few little stars. And if you want to, this has got the sticky paper on the back of it. But some of these little stars are a little tricky to get separated because they're just so very tiny. Let's see how well I can do. Oh, look at that, right in there, yay! Don't you have some days where you just feel like you're winning? I feel like I'm winning today. Oh, and then, <laughs> it's good that I feel like I'm winning now because I went to leave to go clubbing with my stampers for stamp club tonight and I got outside and got in my truck and found out that I did not have my keys with me. And my husband's been on this crazy path, well I shouldn't really call it a crazy path, but he's been on the war path to lock the doors, lock the doors. We live in a community where we just never locked our doors. Um, front doors usually lock, but not the back door and that's where we come and go. And so, I locked the door like a good, you know, what happened here? I locked the door like a good little person. And um, I don't know, I think I peeled the back right off of it and locked myself out of the house. And it's a new, or I should say a newer lock on our back door because the other um, door handle thing was falling apart. So... <laughs> I locked myself out of the house and there I sit trying to go to stamp club and I can't because I do not have my keys to leave. So thank goodness I called my stepdaughter Anna. Anna, I locked myself out of the house and we gave her um, a set of keys to the house because well why wouldn't you all the kids have a set of keys. And so she goes lucky for you I'm just a couple miles or a couple blocks away. So she ran right over, <laughs> let me in the house to get my keys. Ugh. So now I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I am going to find the ribbon. I've got our gold metallic edged ribbon here. And where are my big scissors? Right here. I'm going to just angle this ribbon and we're gonna peel off this tape first is this freaking you out that I'm gonna lose this little die yeah me too I should set that in my little bowl here that's what that's for my met um, I almost said metallic bowl but it is my magnetic bowl that's what we call it okay We're going to fold this over and then we're going to fold this little tab over the top. And if you want to, you could have put your um, tear and tape on this edge and tucked that in. I would have actually preferred to do that, but I did it wrong. But either way, this makes a fabulous candy bar holder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pop this ribbon through both of these ribbon holes just like this and you're going to spread this open and drop your candy bar in here. Now you're going to hang on to this end and pull some ribbon through because we want to tie this in a bow. All right, so this is pretty neat. Watch this. I think I might need just a little bit more there. Here we go. Tie this in a bow. Now, of course, you can decorate up your candy bar cover any way you want with any type of stamp set, but I just thought this was really elegant. Let me trim this off because that looks kind of... Boy, my scissors have so much adhesive on them. I need to get the cleaner out and get them cleaned up. There we go. Now watch this. When you pull on this, it pulls your candy bar out. 
and you can tuck it right back in there. Isn't that fun? Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have Merry Christmas. What a great little set this is, right? You can give a card and a treat. And then this one. And then if you didn't happen to catch my video yesterday, here's the other card that I made with the Sweet Season Specialty Washi Tape. And aren't these fun? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Put a little star in here from that Twinkle Builder Punch. But here we have three different projects using the washi tape and a treat holder. It's your lucky day. So remember, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can click right up here. That'll take you to my blog. You can order any of the products that I've shown you here today. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming up. And once again, you guys, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.